Hey internet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay or Elijah. And today my video is on how to improve FI. And it's unintentionally moody because one of my tungsten lights has kicked the can. So we're operating with one light today, which is kind of appropriate with this vibe. So if you have FI in your function stack, but low, so you're an ETJ or an ITJ, or you don't have it in your function stack at all and you wanna know how to integrate it better, these are some kind of like mindset things you can try to um, apply to the functions that you have. So if you'd like to talk to me about this or anything related to the cognitive functions and your mental journey, you can book a video session with me below on Snug. Here we go. All right, so give me something or a few things that you like, but have no reason for why you like them. Yeah, this is one of my favorite questions to ask people, kind of when I'm helping them triangulate type. Really no one likes this question, but the ones who really do end up answering it most often and who actually really excel in this question are the FI introverted feelers who have that in like a first or second position. And it's amazing because when I was thinking about this, it took me a while to come up with my answer, which was AstroTurf. I just, I like AstroTurf. I don't have a good reason for it. I just think it's kind of cool. I want to make it into a carpet. So I like AstroTurf, but I had to kind of dig for that answer. The FI users will tend to just kind of come up with these answers out of it seems nowhere. Why? Now there is an aspect of FI that deals with just allowing yourself to feel, giving yourself permission, but I made another video on that. So if you want to kind of look at that side of it, especially for thinkers, um, I would go to that video. I'll put a link below. But for this video, what I wanted to focus on is the fact that with FI, you are allowed to just do, prioritize, be conscious of what you like. You're allowed to just do what you like. You don't have to explain it. You don't have to give a reason why. And as much as you might want to, you don't have to argue your case for what you like. You just don't have to, not in an FI prioritized state. So let's take a really generic case and put it in the point of view with someone with FI and then someone with TE. Let's take Zumba. You know, it's like the dance exercise thing. Anyway. And again, these are anecdotes. Okay, don't take it too literally. But the FI person is going to say, I love Zumba. It is so much fun. The TE person is going to say, yeah, I've been going to Zumba. It really helps, you know, strengthen the muscles and balance them in my legs. And it's, you know, allows me to get that cardio in. And, you know, I kind of like it a little bit. <laughs> so for those of you with T over F, this is the mentality you want to stop defaulting to. Stop feeling like you owe everyone a TE reason. You are allowed to just have the FI entity alone. Even if the TE reasons exist, you don't have to talk about them. The TE reasons still exist for a lot of people who have FI over TE, but they don't have to talk about it. It doesn't matter. The TE doesn't matter or qualify having the FI. So for myself, becoming conscious of my resistance and the friction that creates in my cognitive process is my tool for really seeing and assessing and then choosing to go against my own pattern, against my default programming and choose my lesser functions above the ones that my brain will normally um, prioritize. I know the thing I, and I wanna do and I have these TE things I need to work on X, Y, and Z, but you know what? What I really wanna do is play online poker and instead I feel that friction, right? And so instead of just doing the things I laid out, do you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna say play poker, so what? Maybe the video has come out late. Maybe that thing takes a little bit longer. My NI thing takes a little bit longer to get done. But the more you start working out those muscles, those other functions, and consciously making the choice to say, I'm gonna do the opposite of what my brain is telling me to do in this default state, that muscle becomes, becomes developed and you are able to strengthen your own cognitive development. Now, what's really interesting is before I became conscious of this state of choosing my FI, I would often subconsciously want to do my FI, but I would get stuck in this place of a cognitive limbo between my TE and my FI. I was burnt out on the TE. I've been doing TE all day long, overdoing my savior. I want to FI, but I wasn't able just to bite the bullet sometimes and just like be like, oh, I'm going all in on the thing I like, like screw everything else. I'm going all in on this. Instead, I would get stuck in this kind of really unproductive limbo state where I wasn't doing the thing I liked and I wasn't doing the thing that I really needed to do. 
And then that doesn't lead to any sort of happiness or satisfaction. Choose the FI that you like, the thing that means something to you, the thing that you can resonate with without the reasons attached and commit to it. That is it for this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. I don't ask that often, but please do that because I want you to. There's my FI. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, internet friends.